welcome to VTeach. So in the previous session, we discussed about uh, how to express the the six component of the stresses and the six component of the strains. Like uh, sigma is equal to d into epsilon, where d is a six by six matrix. Where uh, these are the six components of the stresses, and this is also six component of the strains. So now consider some special cases because we are going to while we are solving the, the real time problems generally there is no need to analyze the, the three dimensional object as it is in the three dimensional way. So we can assume but we can make some assumption I can I can solve the three dimensional problem I can analyze by assuming it as a two dimensional. So these are the some special cases even we can assume we can we can solve the problems as a one dimension also. So let us consider as we generally express in the previous case for three dimensional object when you consider the only one dimension that is suppose there is a linear element like a bar element. So if we apply if we apply the stress and only along the x direction there is a change in the length then when we consider the linear element like a one dimensional element then directly the stress will be only one direction that is if you say sigma x it is is equal to e into and epsilon x that is the normal stress and normal stress only in the linear direction. Now similarly when we consider the, the two dimension. So two dimension means it is subjected to stresses along x and y direction. Of course when it is subjected to z direction depending upon the cases we are having one uh, here two cases special cases that is the plane stress and plane strain cases in the case of two dimensions. Then let us consider what is the meaning of plane stress. So what is the meaning of plane stress means suppose if you take an any 3D object if you observe here carefully the area is larger compared to the thickness, the thickness is very smaller first of all. That means uh, whenever the we consider the thin plates, we consider thin plate, then what happens means uh, the stresses will be only in the two directions, the stress along the third direction will be generally it can be neglected, it will be zero. That is the reason if we consider the examples for this case a plate with hole I was ex, I was written only here uh, one case. Similarly there are uh, a plates with they, they may have the fillet like the shape will be like this. So for this case uh, similarly when we consider the a ring or washer or anything it is precipitated on a shaft the best example. So these cases will be considered as the, the plane stress. So plane stress means it is having the stresses only in the two directions, the other direction the stress will be zero. So that is the reason in this uh, uh, in this case when we consider the a ring is precipitated on a shaft. So let us take the internal part it is subjected to the pressure. So you can see the, the, uh, the front view as well as the side view. So it is subjected to the internal pressure as the thickness is very small. So we can consider it as a plane stress because the area of cross section is larger compared to the, the thickness. So in this case we can apply the plane stress condition that is the stress along the z direction will be 0. Why? Because the thickness is very very less. So then the stress will be along z direction will be 0 means already we discussed in the three dimensional case we are having the six components of the stresses that is the three are normal stresses and three are the shear, shear stresses. Now the only z direction stresses here will be 0 that is here sigma z will be 0 that is the, the stress along the z direction that is normal stress along the z direction will be 0. Similarly the shear stress along the z direction that is tau yz is also 0. Similarly tau xz is equal to 0. Now in the previous case we expressed here sigma is equal to de like this in the, the 6 by 6 matrix equation I can eliminate these terms sigma x z is equal to 0 
टॉ वाई जेड इज इक्वल जीरो एंड टॉ एक्स जेड इज इक्वल जीरो देन अदरवाइज एज ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द एफ लॉन्ग एक्स एफ लॉन्ग वाई एफ लॉन्ग जेड एंड गामा एक्स वे गामा वाई जेड गामा जेड एक्स यू अगेन यू राइट द एक्सप्रेशन द सिमिलर वे इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन एंड एलिमिनेट दीज द these three things make the uh, stresses along the z direction will be zero again you will get these equations in the, like this also again we eliminate the equations again we eliminate any one term and express the sigma x and write the expression for sigma x and write the expression for sigma y similarly write the expression for uh, uh, tau x y why because tau y z and tau x z are zero and sigma z is also zero so we will get uh, only here three components Three components are zero. So these are the once again I can express the same thing because it is a three by three matrix because the three components are zero here. That is what we call plane stress is nothing but as the plate is very uh, small, thicker, thinner, the thickness is very less. Again, again the stress along the uh, other direction uh, that is in the th thickness direction will be zero. That is only we will get six component of the stresses. Again six component of the strains. I can um, by solving these equations I can get this expression. Otherwise, already you know that the expression for the general expression for six component of the stresses or six component of the strain. Then in the in that expression, you make uh, sigma z uh, tau y z and tau x z equal to zero. Then automatically you will get this expression. So this is a relation between the plane stress case. So plane stress is nothing but simply when the thickness of the plate is very very small. as compared to the its area of cross section then the stress will be zero in the z direction in this case that case is called as plane stress now we will discuss the another case for the two dimensional that is plane strain so plane strain is nothing but when we consider if there is a long body of uniform cross section it may be subjected to the a transverse load along the length direction but if you want to understand in the better way suppose if you taken a dam now there is a dam like this so it is a, a longer member now it is subjected to the forces due to the water or fluid pressure water it may the fluid pressure along the horizontal direction in this case here the length of the member is very longer compared to the cross section then it will be treated as if you take an at any portion of the section if you consider any at any portion the strain will be zero as the member is very very longer in the, along the length direction the strain will be zero here please remember plane strain is nothing but strain will be zero that thing we have to remember here so yeah similarly the another example is suppose if you taken uh, 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 the, uh, the pipes water pipes or whatever it may be they are buried in the under the earth or under the ground they are subjected to the vertical loads in that case then i can say that again there are the longer members subject to vertical load in this case then the again the strain at any portion because the length is uh, uh, longer for this case also strain will be zero so that means the strain in the z direction that is the normal strain along the z direction is equal to zero and shear strain that is gamma yz is zero gamma xz is zero that means the three component of the strains will be there definitely what are the remaining components here only epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y only similarly the stresses will be sigma x sigma y and <coughs> we are having tau x y and this is the expression like in the previous case this is the expression we have to remember this one this is the condition for plane strain whenever we are having the plane strain condition these are the relation between the stress and some material constant lay in the case of plane strain and it is a epsilon so this is entirely called as some constant d material matrix in the case of 6 by 6 case in this case 3 by 3 because the strain is zero that means when the length of the member is longer 
the strain that is the change in the the length in the other direction length direction will be very small hence the strain will be in the z direction is zero that is the normal strain the shear strain and the shear strain along the xz as, a, as well as yz plane will be zero so this is about the plane strain condition so we discussed now one dimensional case that is only along the one dimensional case that means only tax only in the either x direction or y direction or z direction purely we return there either epsilon is equal to directly e into stress is equal to e into epsilon in the respective direction if it is x it is also x that means only in the one direction now in the two di two dimensional case we discussed here two special cases that is plane stress and plane strain condition so like this depending upon the problem we can we can analyze either three dimensional analysis otherwise we can analyze two dimensional analysis otherwise we can go with one dimension analysis also hence that is the reason we learned the relation between the the stresses and the strains the relation between the stresses and strains in all these cases that is three dimensional two dimensional finally one dimensional in the linear case thank you